This is Yarbo, a tough, mean, snow-blowing machine. Now, if you guys like Xbox, this remote will feel very familiar. And yes, this is what I was using to control it. Let's do this. It's actually scraping it pretty good. This is uh, my uh, version of uh, playing video games. <laughs> and with it, you can steer, adjust the speed, rotate the chute, raise and lower the auger, and turn on the lights. But that's not what most people do with the Yarbo. Most people set this up to plow their driveway automatically. And in order to do that, you first need to set up the GPS station, which I did while following the directions in the app. And the setup doesn't take that long and is pretty straightforward. They tell you to put it away from the house in open sky, which is what I have. And they got cords coming out the bottom, which I have plugged into my router. Next, I set the overlap distance in the app, the auger speed, the route pattern, and the auger height. I then drew a map of my driveway by driving Yarbo manually around the perimeter and then marking which way I wanted to throw the snow. So I just did the driveway. I haven't mapped it out to hit my sidewalks and that, but you can change it and modify it, of course. And then I programmed it to shoot the snow out this way on this border, which is what it's doing. It stops there, and then as it comes up this side. Oh, well, that's interesting. So if you get too close, it detects you and it will shut it down. Wait for it. Oh, oh geez. Well, that's a nice safety feature. So yeah, on this side, I got it set to throw it out, to, out in the field. Oh, wow, you gotta be back a ways. Okay, sorry about that. And you have different modes. This is turbo mode, different power levels. So you can actually do like a quiet mode that will be a lot quieter than this. It'll automatically adjust the auger height and the chute. And then you can adjust the pattern too if you want it to be zigzag or in a circle. Check that out. My wife drove on the snow, packed it down, and this thing still scrapes it up. That's insane. Yeah, that is. That is just peeling that right up. Oh, that's so cool. The default of the throw is gonna be straightforward unless you set it. That is throwing that 15 feet. Yeah! Jeez. <laughs> now if it runs out of battery, it will automatically go to the charging station, charge up, and then once it's fully charged, it'll come back and finish the job. They recommend setting it to do your driveway twice. All right, I almost caught it. So it's done. Uh... It's done doing the, um, it's done doing my driveway. So now I've created this pathway for my driveway and it is headed back to the charging pad. Oh, that's going back home. Now they tell you to make an area clean. These rocks and pumpkins and things that it was hitting as it was coming back to the charging station. Uh, you're not supposed to have them there, but I'm limited to where I could put this in my backyard. I will be moving this eventually, but it's there for now. It does need a lot of room to navigate and to get center. And there it is. It is done. And honestly, that is better than I was expecting. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, you still got some snow on there, but did a pretty awesome job. Wow. Super cool. So you got a little touch up work along the edges. I tried to get as, to as close as my house as I could. But you know, there's where I shoveled. And this is the Yarbo. What'd you guys think about the Yarbo? Did it do a good job? Did it not? Is it cool? Yes or no? I wanna know, so let me know in the comments. And as always, I appreciate you guys hopping on here and checking out my content, and I'll see you on the next one.